That's right, Mike. The first video we told you about earlier this week is about 52 minutes. This one is 15 minutes. And in it, you see a split screen. On one side is Jim Rogers in the back of a squad car, clearly in distress and writhing in pain. On the other side is the perspective of body-worn camera footage. You see EMTs arriving on the scene, but at no point do they appear to check on Rogers. I'm 84. I don't need no money. Yes, sir. I want justice for my nephew. I want people to know that. Jim Rogers, aunt and uncle, among dozens in disbelief, watching a police officer use a stun gun on Rogers at least 10 times, leaving Rogers in agony. We cannot expect to have transparency and secrecy. Attorney Todd Hollis also releasing this video. Medics called to the scene, but they never appear to check on Rogers. They do, however, tend to the officers. He's in the back of the car. We got to take him down to get cleared to the case. But we got, like, some of us got blood on. When the EMTs came, they knew the EMTs were there. Why didn't they ensure that he got the medical care that they promised him? Rogers sat in the back of the squad car for about 18 minutes before the drive to Mercy began, a drive that took an additional 17 minutes or so. And that was hard. That was more than hard. It was, it was worse than hard. Somebody should be indicted, and one or two, at least three people. While Hollis deals with civil litigation, we wanted to know whether he believes this case warrants criminal charges. I'm not the district attorney. Um, I don't represent the city of Pittsburgh. Yeah. I represent the estate of Jim Rogers. But from where you stand, do you believe criminal charges should be filed against any of the officers, including Officer Keith Edmonds? I, I can't make a, I, I cannot make a, an opinion on that. I, I believe that would be improper for me to do that at this point. The, this video was released as part of a court order, and as you very well know, no charges were ever filed against any of the officers, including Keith Edmonds, who deployed that stun gun against Rogers at all, or the other officers. We did uh, send an email to the district attorney's office tonight asking if the DA would consider reconvening another grand jury to investigate this criminally, but we have not heard back tonight. Reporting live in homeroom. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Mike, thanks for that update. We also reached out to the FOP President Robert Schwartzwelder, who tells Pittsburgh's Action News 4, quote, a presentation that does not show all the body camera videos aligning at the same time leads me to believe the presentation is slanted, unfair, and in my view, seriously misleading.